So guys, I got a pleasant surprise in the mail today. Um, basically, I ordered a microphone and a, uh, an entire setup uh, last week. It came in a little earlier than I expected. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to get it until Monday, but it came today. So yay, I can use it the entire weekend, which is fantastic. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what it is. Uh, my background's probably a little bit nicer to look at compared to the white wall that used to be behind me. Uh, this is what I use for my green screen if you don't know. Whatever. That doesn't matter. We want to get into the microphone, so. Let's see how it went. Alright guys, I don't exactly have the best uh, camera angle. Um, I don't have a good digital camera to do video with as of yet. I also have my phone, which I'll probably end up doing here later. Cutting, you know, editing, stuff like that. Um, the webcam doesn't look that great, but you can get the idea. So let's get into it. Here is my new microphone, the Blue Snowball, the pretty much the most recognizable mic out there, honestly, as far as YouTubers go, beginning YouTubers, really. Um, these Blue Snowball. I got the black one because that matches my setup a lot better. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. So here's hopefully a little bit better of a camera angle. Uh, so here's our blue snowball. This, yeah, this is probably a lot better of a camera angle. So uh, flip it around. Plug and play USB microphone. You guys can't read that very well, but plug and play USB microphone. You know, audio quality for Skype, blah, 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 blah. You know, all this stuff. It's a microphone. What more can be taken out of it? So I'm going to flip open this tab and... Open it up. Ooh. Guess we gotta pull this out. Maybe. Oh, nope, I just opened up the bottom of the box. Oh. Hey. Oh. That just is a top. I'm gonna assume this is adapters and stuff. Oh, yes. The glorious cable for it. Uh, it's kind of nice looking cable, though. Kind of like the look. Nothing too fancy, just a standard cable. I have plenty of these, so these won't be an issue. Oh, the stand. This is actually a lot heavier than I thought it was. Not that it's heavy, but, you know, heavier metal construction. Very nice, very nice. Oops, out like that. Mm -hmm. Sets on the desk like that. Nice. Not bad, not bad. I probably won't be, I won't be using this very often though because uh, I got a boom arm right here, which I will unbox in a minute. Let's see what else is in the box. Snowball ice, microphone, USB, microphone, really. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in a bunch of languages. Oh, here we go. Here's the English side. I was reading the um, French side or whatever language it is. Um, versatile USB microphone. You, you guys can't read this because the white balance on this camera is horrible. Um, yeah, I can't fix that. So that's just a booklet you guys could probably care less about. Now inside the actual microphone, which is the juicy part. Oh, there we go. Oh, lots of cardboard here. That's a surprising amount of cardboard. It's just... I don't even know how this opens. Quite honestly, just open like this. Oh, yes it does. Like that. And like, like that. Okay. And it comes off. Oh, it just rolled off. All right. Don't need you. So here's the actual microphone itself, wherever the front is. Yep, there's the actual microphone itself. All the plastic film probably makes it hard for you guys to see, but got a little bit of weight to it. You know, stuff like that. Let me go ahead and just get a screwdriver to just stab with, to not really stab, but like, stab this part of the plastic. Makes it easier. There we go. Yep. That makes it easier to peel off. There we go. There we go. Looks beautiful. Looks amazing. Oh, had a lot of plastic inside that where it screws in. So, there we are, guys. The blue snowball. Uh, it's got a little red light on the top, and, you know, the screw hole, and I believe on the back, yeah, on the back, that's where it plugs in, and then also, there should be a switch somewhere, I believe there's a couple of settings you can have for it. Hmm. 
Maybe. Maybe I'm blind and can't find it. But, uh... Yeah. Blue snowball, man. So, it would just screw into the stand just like that. And, you know, you'd be good to go. But we got... Uh, I got myself a, um... Boom arm for it and a pop filter, which... We're gonna unbox here. Once I clean this up. Okay, so we're back. And here is the, um... The boom arm for it. Newer? I'm gonna say newer. Newer professional recording microphone stand. It's uh, when I checked on Amazon, it's uh thirteen fifty US dollars, which is uh pretty inexpensive for a boom arm. I would say that's pretty good. That's pretty good for it. Also, uh the blue snowball was forty nine dollars. Pretty much fifty. So I did stand. And I have no idea how to set up these kinds of things. I just know it clamps to the desk and you screw in a couple parts and Voila. So I guess it's got a little tab here. You know, go ahead and open that up. I don't have a very good camera for these kinds of things. I'm literally just using a webcam. Like I said, I don't have a good camera. So I just open that up and oh, oh there's the clamp. Which you guys can't see because it's in a plastic bag. You can't see it very well. But there's the clamp. Whatever is coming out of the box next. Oh I'm gonna assume that's everything in the box, actually. Set that aside. So here's the boom arm itself, and the other little piece at the bottom. We'll go ahead and get these out of the bag. You can see them a little bit more clearly. Goodbye, plastic. So here's the boom arm itself, and this little piece goes on it. I believe I just take this off for the blue snowball. I don't think I need it. I think this is for, uh, like, standard microphones. Um, I believe this folds out. Oh, yes it does. Well, that didn't sound good, but I think... So yes, this clamps to the desk right here, and you screw it on. So, we'll go ahead and get that fit on. Honestly, how long does this go, actually? That might be a better idea. How long is this... How long does this reach out? Okay, it's not ridiculously long, which I'm fine with. I will go ahead and take this off, though. This just screws right off. I'm off already. There we go. So yeah, I believe the blue snowball just screws straight onto this. I think there's an adapter. Actually, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was reading. It's on this thing. This is the adapter that screws on. So I'll have to get that off too. I'll have to get this little bit off this little plastic. Because I believe that's where the snowball screws onto. I don't, yeah. The snowball has got a non-standard screw, so it doesn't fit onto there. So... Alright, I'm going to get this set up, I'm going to get this set up, and we'll see it. Alright guys, so I got it set up finally after about a half hour of trying to get the stupid little adapter unscrewed to fit on the snowball. Here it is. Dun da da da, that's minus the pop filter, you can see me in the mirror, hello. Uh, <laughs> so, let's go ahead and unbox the pop filter. Okay guys. So here's the Dragon Pad pop filter. It was about eight dollars, uh, closer to ten actually. It was like nine or ten dollars. So let's go ahead and uh, see how well this pop filter works. Step up, up, up. And just open it up like that, and boom. Let's pull this out gently. I, I think these are kind of fragile. So there we go. There we go. I don't need the box anymore, it's just a pop filter. And if you don't know what pop filter does, it basically gets rid of the uh, the P and the K and the, the hard sounding noises. It kind of helps make them not sound terrible. Just Google it and you'll get a pretty brief uh, explanation. So here, here we are, here's the nice, ooh that's really soft. Nice little pop filter here, this just goes straight on to the microphone and it's pretty big pretty big so alright so it's on there as you can see and I I need to have it positioned correctly. I'll figure that out in a minute, but we're gonna do a little bit of a sound test. 
from my microphone. We're gonna put on the headset actually. From my microphone to the new blue snowball with the boom arm and everything, which also looks really good as well. Uh, it looks nice. It matches my setup fairly well. Because my headset mic obviously sounds pretty good, and yeah. I still have yet to plug in the blue snowball, actually. I just have it set up. It's not even plugged in, so I'll plug it in. So I guess we'll go see how the blue snowball sounds. So here we are with the blue snowball. Um, my webcam might be off sync with the microphone. That's because OBS is weird and doesn't like, like my webcam. <laughs> so um, this is updated. I did have an earlier clip of it, but it wasn't configured right at all. I wasn't speaking into it properly. Uh, it sounded really quiet. It sounded like I was in the other room. So here's how it sounds like all properly configured, and I hope it sounds really good. Okay, guys, so this is how it's set up for me for now. This is how my microphone is set up. I've just got the pop filter right there in the microphone. The stand's over clamped on the other side of my desk. It used to be clamped right here, but it didn't. I didn't like it. It was too high, and it didn't go low enough for me. But when I have it on the other side, it goes a lot lower, and little bit more nicer and there is no issue of me my hand bumping into this or anything um, I don't raise my arms up when I'm gaming that much so um, I'll rarely hit it it go it, perfect arm room for it and everything so that's how it's set up and this is my other computer I kind of cleaned in here a little bit it's a little bit nicer now but yeah so that's the microphone guys I really like it it sounds really good um, and yes, I'm I'm editing this. I'm <laughs> I'm editing this video, and this video is going in videoception, guys. That's all I gotta say. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see if I can flip this around without it oh, dying. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Comment, and subscribe. Um, whatever you wanna do. I'm working on a new intro and possibly an outro. Um, I'm trying to get into YouTube now that I invested some money into it. So I'm trying to really pump out some videos and. Uh, definitely more technology videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.